Hey everyone. As the title already suggested, I built a cargo base this way. So what exactly is a cargo base and why did I build one, you might wonder. Let me show you around a bit first. So we have a 20-story building with HQ bunker, turrets, bed spawns, tesla coils, a little shop to provide us with the resources we need, and a cozy little sun deck. What a beautiful view, right? We're located close to small oil and main bases, or rather a village with boat base and so on. As you might have guessed from the cargo base, we can jump on the cargo. I don't jump, I don't jump. Killed one, killed one. Technically. Oh, I couldn't make it. Well, on cargo, you do the regular stuff, right? You kill scientists, activate crates, kill more scientists, activate crates. Yeah, bleib du sonst einfach da. Ja, ja, ich bleib hier. Oh, yes, up. Possibly powders. Hast du? Ja, ja. Ich hatte grad, ich konnte grad auf ihn schießen. Wie heißt der? Radu Gay. Das ist einfach Radu Gay. Geil. And we loot some crates. That's doubtlessly entertaining, but it's not so much different from fighting on land. It's quite straightforward, right? It's rust, and surprising or funny things happen quite rarely. So what's special about the cargo base then, if it's not jumping on the cargo? Well, as mentioned before, it's close to small oil rig, also known as small rig. Close enough to check cameras and dive there to counter. So what if we don't counter small directly, but go for a little more creative approach? We were waiting for two players to finish small. Once the engine of the boat was running, we were planning on placing a C4 on the boat to destroy it and kill the crew, who would then swim helplessly in the vast ocean like little jetzt, puppies. Jetzt, jetzt, pass auf! Sag! Jetzt, 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 bitte! Ist dran? Ist es dran? <lacht> Scheiße, jetzt sind die runter! Nein, die sind runtergesprungen! What I learned from this should help me in the next attempt. This time, I took only a satchel to kill the driver. Let's see how well I can time it this time. So, he hurt me again. I was a bit scared to start the boat. I'd be a bit sneaky and pretend to be too far away from the boat. This would make him feel safe enough to give it a shot.
Eat a bitch! Eh, rather sooner than later, I guess. Surprise! What did you say? What did you say? Hi. I'll carry that for you. Later I also took his boat because why not? Based on this experience, I went for another large boat that was parked a bit away from the docks. Maybe I could even catch them swimming. I was waiting for them to finish the crate. But then some real counters came. You know, like guys with guns and shit. So I decided to go for them instead, because they were coming with a small boat. So let's see if we can find them. find their shooting position and feel a bit safe. Time to destroy their ride. Hi. Ah, I'm dropping some guns. Let's look for the guns. Ah, uh, there's the MP5. And the Bolty. It's been a pleasure doing business with you guys. Later. This time I heard a small boat passing by my base going to oil. So let's see on the cameras how it's going for them. Looking good, I'm coming. Aw, oh, they see me underwater, you glitchy little... Alright, so let's see what our first move could be.
quickly brought the boat down to 6 HP. Their turn now. I can wait. Oh, there he goes. The other guy is covering from the dock and will try to kill me, probably. Yep, as expected, GG's. But, it's not over yet. They got no boat, and I get a nice little cargo base. Nice of them to use their flashlights. Makes tracking much easier. When chasing, you want to try to stay straight in order to catch up over time. Nice, thanks. I banked everything, went back for the dropped AK, but unfortunately I couldn't find the second guy anymore. Of course it doesn't always work. Sometimes I just wasn't patient enough. Also, you will always need regular bases to store boats, helis, maybe farm some stuff. What are you doing here now? Huh? Having a little swim, man. Ah, okay, okay, okay. It's quite nice, you know, the beach, yeah, very really nice. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Or to just enjoy the regular rust experience, you know. Also, unfortunately, the cargo base doesn't help that much when people are engaging Ulrich with a mini. But if you know all the sneaky spots where you're protected... Take statements like this as a compliment. You are very anno annoying, but you know, I think that's your intention too, right? And enjoy surprise moments. So we're just gonna stay for this last for a while, yeah? I didn't know that was possible. Ah, uh, now you know. You can have a ton of fun and action with a cargo base. Thanks for watching. Stay rusty and see you next time. If you're still watching, consider to... Subscribe! <laughs>